Hey guys, in this video we will talk about uh, conduction pathway of the heart. In a nutshell, the electrical signal is first generated in a sinoatrial node in the right atrium. Next, the electrical signal spreads through the heart's right and left atria and causes the atria to contract. Then, passing through the internodal fibers, the electrical signal reaches the atrioventricular node. After that, the electrical signal reaches the Purkinje fibers and spreads across the entire ventricular muscle and it contracts. It is very important to note that in a normal heart, the SA node is the pacemaker because it has the highest intrinsic rhythm. The SA node produces 100 action potentials per minute. If you take a look at junction between the SA node and atrial myocytes, you will find that the cardiac pacemaker cells are connected to adjoining contractile cells where gap junctions. It means that when the SA node spontaneously generates an action potential, some cations from the SA node leak to the adjoining contractile cells and makes the membrane potential of these cells more positive. If these cations are enough for membrane potential to reach the threshold, then these contractile cells further undergo depolarization and repolarization. In other words, contract and relax. Actually, all cells in a heart are connected with each other through these gap junctions. Therefore, we say that the cardiac muscle is a sensation in which the cardiac muscle cells are so tightly bound that when one of these cells is excited, the action potential spreads to all of them and allows succinct coordinated contraction of the heart. When the SA node spontaneously generates action potential, first it spreads to the right atrium and to the left atrium through Bachmann's bundle, stimulating the myocardium of the atria to contract. It is extremely important to note that between the atria and ventricles, there is a high density single structure of the connective tissue, which is called the fibrous skeleton of the heart. The dense connective tissue within the cardiac skeleton does not conduct electricity, and the action potential, which is generated in the SA node, when it reaches this tissue through the atria, it dies off. It is extremely important to note that the only electrical conduit from the atria to the ventricles through the cardiac skeleton is the AV node. It is also important to note that the AV node in turn gets electrical impulse mainly through the internodal fibers. It is very important to note that the atrial fibrillation, which is characterized by rapid and irregular beating of atria, can never degrade into ventricular fibrillation. This is because between the atria and ventricles, as I already said, there is a fibrous skeleton of the heart which does not conduct electricity from the atria to the ventricle. Again, the only electrical conduit from the atria to the ventricles through the cardiac skeleton is the AV node, which receives electrical impulses from the SA node via internodal fibers. It is very important to note that the AV node delays impulses by approximately 0.12 seconds because the AV node is specialized for slow conduction. This delay in a cardiac pulse is extremely important. This will allow the atria to completely empty their blood into the ventricle first before the ventricles contract. Simultaneous contraction would cause inefficient filling and backflow. The distal portion of the AV node who further receives the action potential is known as the bundle of his. The bundle of his, which is specialized for rapid conduction, splits into two branches. 
the left bundle branch and the right bundle branch. The left bundle branch activates the left ventricle while the right bundle branch activates the right ventricle. The two bundle branches taper out to produce numerous protein G fibers which stimulate individual groups of myocardial cells to contract. Heart block is the most common conduction problem in cardiology. The most dangerous is third degree AV block. With this condition, also called complete heart block, none of the electrical impulses from the atria reach the ventricles. If the AV node does not receive electrical impulses from the SA node, it becomes the pacemaker of the heart because the AV node has a second intrinsic rate. It produces 40 to 60 action potentials per minute and of course the ventricles contract the same amount of time. Patients frequently feel poorly in complete heart block with lightheadedness and fatigue. 